Welcome back guys. Today we're up the Barrington Tops. Uh, we've just head up here after a few weeks of rain. But I've got to say the road is still super dusty. But I'm stoked to be up here. We, uh, we've been meaning to come up here ever since I started four wheel driving. It's just been one of those places I've always wanted to get to. We're up here today through Moon and Brook. We've made our way through. And uh, we're gonna come up to Dingo's Gate pretty soon, I think. We'll get through there. No real plans, no real direction. We're just gonna see what we find, go exploring. I don't know much about the area, but uh, there's a dead kangaroo on the road there. And uh, I don't know, let's go see what we can find up here in the Barrington, stoked. just come down to pole blue picnic area and you can see up on the drone here that how that creek snakes through the um the wetlands there it's just absolutely unreal such an awesome view from up high and you can see how clear that water is as well we're just going to go down there now just down to the water and have a feel and maybe stick the gopro in and see if we can get a little bit of film of the grasses blowing around meters up the road we've found the Barrington Trail uh, north I think it is one on the left from where we were at the um, at the oh God, at the creek so we're heading down here I'll go see what we can find it looks like it does head down it looks like it heads down to some water here but Ben just said it looks like there's a muddy section up here so we'll go check this out Ben's just gone through, it doesn't look too bad. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna put it in low range, just so I don't stall it, because I know what I'm like. We've just come to a V in a section that's taken us down to Green Gap Road, I think off to the left. I uh, did say horse trail on there as well, but I didn't see any signs saying no cars and it does look like there's some wheel, wheel marks on the road So we're gonna take this and we're gonna hang right. It should take us across a creek uh, We should have a little creek crossing up here, which should be interesting But so far it's just been a pretty straightforward road um, a couple of little muddy sections, but uh, nothing too stressful We good to get down this creek though. We'll see what this uh, this crossings like come down uh, this road that leads us down to the Gummy Falls campground. At the bottom we were hoping to get across this creek and head back up around but uh, it looks like we can't get through the roads closed so taking this spot here it's behind me right on the creek here uh, we just had a bit of lunch and I see him just up ahead I don't know if you can see Ben up in the distance there uh, there's a little bit of a waterfall so I might just take a dip freshen up been a couple of days since I've had a shower so it'll be good to get in there and freshen up a bit. <laughs> oh, absolutely unreal getting in there. Freezing cold. But I feel so fresh now. Skin's clean, mud's off. It's time to get back on the tracks. So I've come down, uh, what's it called? Dilgree Dilgree Circle. Dilgree Circle. It's literally not far down the road here. And we have just behind me something a little special. That has got to be the most monstrous cock I've ever seen. It's actually called Cock Rock. So don't think like I'm saying a bad word here, but that is a monster. That's about what, two or three stories high or something like that. 
So there's like a giant rock giant's just laid down in the scrub here and covered himself over and is just poking out of the shit, uh, poking out of the scrub. Jeez, it's impressive. Yeah, Mother Nature is definitely interesting sometimes, huh? Yeah, it makes you wonder how that how that even formed the way it did. Anyway, we're off now. Uh, we're gonna go check out Devil's Hole. Uh, it's not too far from here. Just get down now. No idea what it is. Just looks like a spot on the map. So I'll go check out that. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty much just winging it from here. It's just so beautiful out this way, I've got to say. You get that real sort of nice alpine chill like in the air. It's just so fresh. Same with the water. It's just so fresh. Oh, it's just such a beautiful spot. I'll get down to this devil's hole and see what they have. Uh, we've left Devil's Hole Lookout. Ben's just kept driving, he's headed out now, so I've just got myself a solo camp tonight. Sun's gone down, it's about quarter past four. And uh, yeah, hopefully I get myself a nice camp, get the fire on, get myself some food cooked up pretty soon. Uh, hopefully I'll get there before dark and I'll see you guys at camp. I'm telling ya, Ben is going to be dirty at me. I have found the most epic campsite. The view out in front of me, I want to show you guys, is absolutely unreal. Have a look at that. Isn't that something special? Right down the valley, we're pretty much right on the edge. Gonna have that sunset tonight. I'm gonna get the fire on, open up a beer, kick back and just check out this sunset, mate. This is fantastic. By far the most epic view I've seen this whole trip. And I'm gonna be staying here tonight. So, guys, I'm gonna get that fire cranking and open up a beer. absolutely unreal you can see I just tilt the phone you guys can see the moons up there there's the moon up there it was a full moon last night and you can see I don't know the Sun's coming up just on the east side here but you can see the mounds are all starting to light up with the Sun there I think the I think the camera's picking it up but I've just got the fire on because it's absolutely freezing I'm gonna get myself some brekkie and maybe a cup of tea or something just to warm me up but I'm heading out today. Uh, I'm gonna go pick Max up this afternoon. We're gonna probably head out somewhere for a couple of days ourselves. But this will be the last day up in the Barrington. Absolutely fantastic time up here. It's been unreal. And especially to land this camp spot last night, like my car's just here and it's just opened that up. As soon as I woke up this morning, that's pretty much what I could see out there all over the valleys. Absolutely beautiful. But guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one. Um, awesome spot up here in the Barrington. I'm looking forward to getting up here again one day. And we'll catch up with you guys soon. Take care.